5.27 a.m. I just woke up at 4.09. That's not a funny cleaning joke either. What do you say we just get the day started? So, this morning, for the third day in a row, because apparently I have, like, no self-control, I went in and peed on a stick to check to see my ketotic state. Because last night, we made popcorn, we made popcorn last not last night, the night before as well, and it was so long. And then we made buttered garlic, um, or garlic butter, and I just could not resist it. We all sat on the couch and chowed down to popcorn that I popped, and um, I melted a stick of real butter and put garlic powder in it and a little bit of red cayenne chili powder. Mm. And we watched like two or three episodes of um, The Beastmaster on Netflix, which is not about a dude that talks to animals and runs around in a loincloth. Not that Beastmaster. Uh, not a reboot of that. But um, it was like, it's like the gauntlet where they have to do all these, it's like, uh, American Ninja Warrior, and it actually was pretty good. We I think we watched two episodes, and it was fun together to do. So, Eat popcorn, it's just nice. But popcorn is not bulletproof. So, I did fast for like 21 hours yesterday. Also, trying to deal with that whole like noodle situation. And I was back in ketosis midday. Early actually, like by 10.30. I was in a light ketosis and I was in like what I consider like moderate or regular full-blown ketosis. Um, by one or two. And I ate like at 3 or 3.30 and then at 5.30 we had popcorn. But I did lose a pound from yesterday which I'm sure is a lot of, um, bulk. Colon weed. Anyway, um, I'm in just the slightest bit. Like, I had, I know any color change counts, and it was just the slightest, slightest color change on that stick this morning. So, like, to the point where I had to get out a regular stick and look. It was that slight, but there was color change, so, um, anyway, that's the update for this morning. Okay, so I just did my 45 minutes on the treadmill, and I am happy to report, previously I have told you that I'm at like 2.5, I am almost always at 2.7 to 2.9 right now, which is why I'm so sweaty, because I got short legs, so I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, Just saying. So, um, yeah, because like a three is, is almost like a, a super fast walk slash slow short run. So I'm gonna go wash my face and I'm gonna make another bulletproof coffee. And I'm gonna sit down and think about organizing the day. I think it's gonna be a laundry day again because I'm pretty sure those sheets need to be done. It's noticeable. So that is my plan for the day. And we'll see if that's actually what happens or not, because you and I both know that stuff happens willy-nilly around here. But that's the adventure of life. Okay, it's 8.37, doing laundry. I've got the big blanket out, and actually if you look right there, it's hanging up, 
on the elliptical because you know exercise equipment is just laundry devices. Um, put the second set, the sheet and the other blanket in the wash and that has gone from the wash to the dryer and I have a load of clothes. Um, and these are mixed clothes. Usually the girls and I do our, our loads together and then I keep Chris's work stuff separate because it like sullies the rest of the, the laundry and I was like, you need to wash your pants. So I'm in the basement taking off my pants. So then I took some clothes of Chris's up and to put away and I was like, dude, you don't have to go pantsless for like an hour and a half. You can just put on some of those, those new Lularoe pants that, you know, you got in the mail from one of your subscribers. I'm like, well, let's see if those fit, you know, and I go up there and, okay, number one, I can get them on. Okay. So that's really good. And I can get them on without taking my tennis shoes off, which let me tell you is a personal thing of mine. I really, I don't like to not wear shoes. I wear shoes all the time. I used to sleep in my shoes. Shoes are my thing. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, number one, these pants fit, okay? And these are tall, curvy. Apparently there's no size, or at least I didn't see one. Someone might have just been generous and been like, we don't need to tell her this, this'll just... Okay, number one, they fit. And, and I'm gonna tell you that there is tons of stretch in this, okay? Um, like here, I mean like, and there's plenty of this. So like if you are not a belly button person, whoa, that belly came out. Then there's plenty. I feel like even if you are a thinner lady and you are pregnant, you could you could totally wear these because you know I've got that big belly here. Um and oh I could take that picture and freak some people out. <laughs> anyway, um there there's a lot of um real estate there and there's even more stretch okay so then they look great and if you notice here in my problem areas i mean it's not stretching white through this was an area above the knee i'm not getting any kind of stretch through and down here I'm not getting any stretch through either. In fact, this is like really nice and black. On top of it, they feel like you're wearing like nothing. Like I could see how like if you got accustomed to wearing these pants, because I can, you can feel like the air through them, like they, they breathe really well, um, that you could totally like real life yourself into like one of those, I'm not wearing pants. Because it's like wearing cotton candy. I mean, it's just like, light and fluffy and like almost like nothing's there it literally moves with me i'm like i'm like doing all this stuff that you can't see i'm like it just it goes every which way i need it to go there's no pulling i can i can squat no pulling nothing oh my gosh these are fantastic pants i don't know how much these cost but they are fantastic pants now i will say i do feel like they might catch just a little bit right here um but like, if I'm running, that might be an issue, but as I walk, not any kind of problem that I'm, I'm dealing with. So, I'm gonna be wearing these the rest of the day. No hurry to get back into the uh, Mariska Magic Pants. These pants are kind of amazing. They really are, like, excitingly amazing. Nice.
Go ahead, open it up. Or here, you're gonna, when you cut it, you should cut this way. Let me do it. I am gonna let you do it. I'm not touching the scissors. I'll try it. What? That's right. I'll try it. Can you tear it from there since it's already open? I don't want to. Okay. Would that be easy? Keeps it from rolling around. Oh, oh, your lid's. Oh, whoa, whoa, this lid is loose. Nope, this is it. No, I want to look. Can... You, you can look at one of them. One of them. I want to use them. You can't use them. Let me take them. Oh. Okay. Don't hold it upside down. I don't need you to spill this. This is also very important that you don't get sealed. I can smell. So I want to <laughs> open it so I can smell. I want to open it so I can smell. It doesn't smell. <laughs> I'm going to smell it. I smell it. We get, do you know what we got? Yeah. Here, let's see the label. So this is some stuff called Restore, and it's from a company called Restore Switch. for Life. And Did what this is to supposed to do store? is it's supposed to um, retighten the bonds in your gut. So it stops leaky gut syndrome, and what that does is it causes your gut biome environment to heal itself and for the gut bacteria to function properly and it's going to boost your immunity it's going to increase your nutrient absorption and increase your hydration level by essentially causing your intestines to work properly so we're going to try this one of these is mine and one of those that one is my mom's although that's for grandma yeah we're going to put it up in uh for her so this is a six day supply like it says here and essentially you have a teaspoon morning noon and night so essentially you have a, one tablespoon per day all right so i'm just feeling like today is full of excitement i just got my my restore stuff which i know you just watched but i'm like reading the material on it and it's just making me super excited um to like use this i really want this to work really well um 
I heard about it on the Ben Greenfield podcast. I've never ever bought anything that he's talked about on that show except possibly MCT oil and for real I had to hear about that for like 10 years. And Dave Asbury who has also been on Ben Greenfield um I had to finally like be coerced into reading his book in order for that. So it might not even qualify as something Ben was promoting or talking. He talks about it all the time. But Dave, I guess, is really the one that put me over the edge. So something else that just kind of came in is some email about the Akron Marathon. Kids Fun Run. Girls are signed up for that. This will be the third year Evelyn's done it. Well, she four, so do the mouth on that. Um, I'm going to be volunteering at the marathon itself. I will be at the final turn. I know I'm so excited to do this. I'm going to be the course worker at the final turn into Canal Park because there is no turn into Stan Hewitt. I really wanted to do that, but there wasn't. They, they were not going on the grounds at Stan Hewitt. They're just going around the corner at Garmin. So I don't care about doing that. So excited to go and to do all this. Um, they have the new the T-shirt. So there's the new t the volunteer T-shirt, and which I I believe you see me wear the other one that was yellow, and it has that blue um, print, and and it's the blue crew because there's a blue line that they paint on the street. And like they recently refreshed some blue oh my gosh it's so exciting when they paint the blue line I just get really giddy and they changed the route two years ago yeah you're hungry so this will be the third year and it goes right by our house like a half a mile like on our walking route well I have the stuff in the oven I got pork chops in the oven so we have to wait for that but it's cooking and we're gonna have rice and corn does that sound good Rice, not corn. I want just rice. Yeah. Well, we might be able to arrange that. Can I just have one, just rice and corn and? You don't want a pork chop, do you? No. And well, you gotta eat some pork chop. Anyway. No, yeah. I'm not gonna eat it. <clears throat> oh, that was nasty. That was gross. Don't give me pork chop. You don't spit on me. That's gross. Don't give me. If I'm eating pork chop, I'm going to get something else to eat. Listen, that behavior is not okay. He, he, he. All right, so I had to deal with that, which was ugly. Anyway, the other thing is that they always give something to the volunteers as like a thank you gift. And I think like one year they did a sunglasses, like last year was like a beer cozy type um, drink holder thing and like this year it's the chapstick I'm like super excited could there be anything that was more like me no chapstick yes thank you so I'm pretty excited so Friday night is a fun run and then Saturday is the marathon I'm super duper excited I love volunteering at the marathon and before like when my mom was home and like I had babysitters I actually would volunteer Thursday to set up the expo Friday at the expo like I've done um, I've given out the jackets and shirts I have um, done check-in where like they gave them their race bibs and told them where to go um, and then on race day I volunteer I have done where I've been just like the course worker and anyway different things and one year I just cheered it was like when Lillian was like first born or something it was, it was you know like not cool for me to be out and because like Lillian's born in August and it's like in September I did however wear a dumb turkey hat turkey hat with a turkey head and um I did cheer because it was like the first year that it was right by our house and that was super fun. I cheered from the first runner until the last runner. It was, it was a lot of fun. And that's when I knew I needed to be a course worker. I was like, I just have to get back some of myself. So, and before that I run, completed it once and then I injured myself mid marathon the second time, which was sad. Maybe next year I should run the half. 
Oh, and when I ran, I did volunteer at the, um, the expo, I believe, at least one of those years. So I am pretty excited to do this. I just really enjoy doing certain things like that. I'm also volunteering at the Girl Scouts National um, Girl Power Conference thing in Columbus this year. I'm really excited to do that. I'm really hoping to see some people that I know. Old home week. Good time.